Coach Smith, Coach Smith's from Miami. Coach Smith's a longtime high school coach in Atlanta. Won several state championships, several um, track state championships. Does a tremendous job with our running backs if you've seen those guys run. Um, and a great recruiter, great person. This is Mark Colla. He's not here. Mark's from Albuquerque, New Mexico. He was a student coach, volunteer at Florida Atlantic when I went out to Florida Atlantic in 2017. Um, was making no money. I saw that this kid had a ton of initiative. Okay, anything that needed to be done, he did it before I ever asked. Okay, it was always done. I go to the quarterback meeting, everything's set up perfectly, the chairs are nice, we got everything on the on the screen ready to go. I didn't ask him to do anything. He's a kid who had initiative. Uh, I took him to uh, Houston as a GA, uh, Florida State as a GA, and as a quality control guy, does a heck of a job for us. He works with the quarterbacks and me. This is Ryan Urichek. Uh His dad's the athletic director, so we had to hire him. <laughs> <laughs> He does a tremendous job, I'm joking. He does a really good job, play tight end at Marshall, play the league a little bit, bounce around. A uh, really sharp young kid who does a, does a really nice job, works with the offensive line with Coach Kennedy. And this is Arthur Ray, uh, who also is, um, works with the offensive line. He's, he's from Detroit, Michigan. Does a great job. The thing about all these guys, okay, first of all, we retained everybody, which is huge going into the, to the start of our third year. Um, these are really great men, okay? They can sit down to me whenever I came in an interview with Coach Pittman, as he always talked about, I want great men. This is the first time I'm going to be a head football coach. There's a lot of good coaches. Okay, a lot of good coaches. Get on board and, and talk to all you want to talk. He wanted great men because there's going to be problems throughout the course of the year. If you've got good people on your staff, then you're going to be able to work through those things. If you've got guys that are, are, are not going to be part of the program, then it doesn't work out as well. So I was really leaning towards wanting to come to Arkansas with Coach Pittman because of that vision. And these are all great guys, and they have a great staff, so I'm really blessed to be part of it. Okay, with our offense, okay, we talk about the three S of our offense, fast, careless, and physical. Okay, you come to our practice, you're going to hear us, our meetings, whatever it is, we're always talking about playing fast, play fast, play fast, play fast, play fast. <coughs> we're always talking about that, we're hammering that into our players' heads. Okay, we want to play fast in between the whistles and, and uh, when the ball is dead, okay? We're a tempo offense, so we have got to always play fast, skill guys seeing signals, get lined up in between the snaps, okay? That's a big deal of what we do. Okay, being physical, okay, being physical up front. Okay, not just the guys up front, everybody. Okay, we're going to play extremely physical. The good thing is our head coach is aligned with what we want to do offensively. Okay, he's an old school old line guy. Okay, that's what he is. Okay, he wants to be physical up front. He wants to be able to run the ball. That's the same thing we want to do. Okay, we're going to run the ball, and it takes all eleven on the field. You've seen our guys play. You've seen our quarterback. He runs with physicality, right? Okay, our our guys on the perimeter. Coach Guy does a tremendous job with those guys on the perimeter. Blocking is huge in what we.